I've got uh, all the uh, framework ready to go for skinning and uh, right here is a section I'll use for the butt joint where the skins connect and this uh, line right here is I pre pre lined up all the skins and numbered them and that's where that will uh, butt up right on that line and the skins are sitting right here ready to go on the table and um, what I'm using to fasten them down with is uh, these batten strips that are eight feet long and they're well three quarter inch wide by five eighths high and they're pre-drilled every five inches some of them are four inches and then on the trailing edge I'm using these uh, three quarter by two inch as straight edge guides and you'll see when I start screwing them on that they help keep the trailing edge straight which is the hardest part because it's kind of thin and what I use for glue is um, I'm using tight bond 3 and I also use silicone and I just use the silicone on the ribs because um, I don't have a way of clamping them to the ribs and if it's off the rib a sixteenth of an inch the silicone's thick enough to uh, cover the gap you could also use um, like a construction adhesive or something like that too and then I use uh, these one inch strips of plywood on the curves and I screw them in with these number six five eighths wood screws the uh, five eighths strips I screw with these inch and a quarter drywall screws and then the back strip strips I uh, screw down with these two and a half inch drywall screws so I'll start gluing up one panel and show you how I do it first thing I do is the ribs of the silicone because it can sit around for a while and it won't harden up anymore. the tight line three is uh, the last thing I put on and I smear it on every bit of the surface that I can using my finger and spreading it so uh, it gets a nice good surface to glue it to. Type on 3 is uh, a really nice glue. It's formulated to dry slower so you can Take your time more with that glue than a normal carpenter glue, which is nice for doing projects like this. Now I'm spreading out the tight bottom three and all the other surfaces. I put it on pretty liberally because I don't want it to pack up before I get the skin on it. And I don't care if it oozes out, I just wipe it up later. One pretty messy job. and set it down. This is the hardest part is lining up the first strip on here. And, uh, so I'm depending on this straight edge to make the whole wing straight so I got to be really fussy on where it goes. screws in between. Okay. Now we do the middle spar. Crunchy.
start in the middle because if you start on an end, it can bend it down and you'll have a crooked seam. So if you start in the middle, hopefully it bends down equally. It's a little harder to do. first. make sure it's getting sucked down. And when you tip it up, plus I'm kind of clamping it with my hand on the back. So it gets nice and tight. Looks really good. As you can see on the back, uh, this is what we look like once the skin is on. And uh, there's silicone in there oozing out. It's hard to see with the light between the ribs. Everything's actually actually fairly tight. And uh, if there are some gaps, like uh, that end wing rib, on, almost on the very bottom, has a little gap on the nose. It's completely filled with silicone, so it won't it won't be a factor. It'll hold tight. Now, what do I what I do with these <coughs> butt joints is I take some of that one inch eight inch plywood, ripped into one inch strips, and just cut up here. And use these number six wood screws to screw this down, and it's has to bend, so that's why I use the, the thin material. You can see that the glue is squeezing out. This is the flap that I did yesterday, and it's completely all done, and uh, it's ready to unscrew. Just haven't got to it yet, and then I'll flip it over and do the other side. But it turned out pretty good. Okay, I've got the flap completely skinned, and uh, I've got the uh, top battens unscrewed and then uh, the bottom screwed in and I'm trying to clamp the uh, 
trailing edge to the table bench here. Straighten it up a little bit. It's a little bit warped. Hopefully when it dries it'll be straight. But uh, the rest of the wing looks pretty darn straight. It's not too bad. Uh, came out pretty well. Then I've got the main wing uh, with half the skin on here. And um, got it glued up. The trailing edge pieces work pretty good. This is the skin side with the battens on it. And next thing I have to do is uh, skin the uh, tips here. I've got one one halfway skinned already, so I'm going to skin the other one too. This is the flap tip here, and I'm just going to unscrew the battens because it's dry. Thank you.